when you unbox your new Modal AI Starling V2 development drone, you will notice that the motors and propellers are shrouded by these protective clips. To remove them, use two fingers to press gently back toward the motor and they will simply pop off. To reapply, slide them on from the motor end, center the U-shaped clip over the motor bell housing and then with your thumb, push it firmly onto the motor and it will snap in place. Whenever you are not flying, please keep these propeller guards installed as they will protect the propellers from damage during handling and also prevent the motor from accidentally spinning on your bench while you're developing software. To install the battery in your Starling V2 development drone, first hold the drone frame in one hand and then take your battery and slide it all the way down into the pocket at the front of the drone and then firmly press the battery into place and it will snap in. Then take the JST balance plug and click it into its receptacle here to keep it from flopping around in flight. Finally, you can connect the XT30 power connector. The drone will power on and you can tuck the XT30 connector and the wires into the little clips to keep the wires from flopping around during flight. This is an overview of the critical hardware components on your Starling V2 development drone. First, we have the Voxel 2 autopilot. Next, we have a GPS unit for outdoor flight. And the two blue wire ends are the 915 MHz antenna for long range ELRS radio control. This is the APM or advanced power module, which provides voltage sensing, current sensing, and five volt regulated power supply to the autopilot. This is the barometer shield that protects the barometers from sunlight and wind noise. This is a USB Wi-Fi dongle for SSH and Voxel Portal. Onto the image sensors on the front of the drone, we have a 4K high resolution color camera for onboard video recording, onboard snapshots, and also FPV video streaming. We also have a time of flight sensor for 3D mapping and collision avoidance. Finally, we have a global shutter fisheye camera for visual inertial odometry. This is an overview of the LEDs on your Starling V2 development drone. We start with the green LED on the back of the Voxel 2 autopilot. When this is on, it indicates that the autopilot is receiving 5 volt power. Next, the steady flashing blue light on the right is the ELRS long range RC radio receiver. This steady flash indicates that the transmitter is not on or not connected to the receiver. If this is on steady, it indicates that the transmitter is connected. If this is flashing in a heartbeat pattern, that indicates that the ELRS receiver is in binding mode. The green LED under the GPS unit indicates the state of the GPS fix. We are currently indoors with no satellites visible, so the LED is steady green. When this starts flashing once per second, it indicates that a 3D fix has been achieved. The green LED on the underside of the Voxel 2 autopilot indicates that the autopilot has booted up. The blue LED at the end of the Wi-Fi dongle will flash when it's transmitting data over a connected network. The flashing blue LEDs on the underside of the ESC indicate that the ESC is both powered on and actively communicating with the autopilot. If these LEDs are ever on steady, it means that the ESC is powered on but does not have an active connection.